Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to use Future Restore for downgrading your iOS device to any older iOS version which is now unsigned by just using VM right on your Windows. So in this video, I will choose this Oracle VirtualBox. In this VM, you will have to install any Linux operating system. Right now, I have installed XUbuntu. You can use any latest Ubuntu operating system and it should work. In this video, we will downgrade this iPhone 8 Plus to iOS 15.5, which is the only version I have a blob for. But you can use this method to downgrade from iOS 16, 15 to iOS 14 or 16 to 15 or any higher version of 16 or 15 to any lower version of 15. First of all, open iTunes and connect your device via USB and then just tap on the serial number and you will get the ECID right click and copy it somewhere in a text file because we will be needing it later of course to use this method you will have to get your device into pawn TFU mode you will get all the links in a text file in a description or in the pinned command so you will need this ISO file ipon one x ISO and Blanacher. You can get Blanacher from its official website and download the latest version for Windows. Just right click Blanacher exe and run it as administrator. Alright so guys I have connected a USB flash drive. Now simply click select image and select the ISO file that you have downloaded click open and now click this flash button all right guys when the flash process is complete by Brian Asher, you will see this format dialog please cancel it at this point you will have to restart the computer and then we will put the device into pawn GFU mode after restarting your computer head to the boot manager by pressing F9 or F12 depending on your computer's model and you will see your USB flash drive listed here that you have made now hit enter iPhone one x will load you can see here it supports all devices from A9, A10 and A11 now to start it Alt F2 and it will now start waiting for a device in DFU I will connect my iPhone if you see this trust message trust it and now I will put my device into DFU. Alright guys, as you can see my device is now in pawn DFU mode and the signature checks are removed. So now you are good to go. Also, if it does not work, please just simply try again. It will work. Now leave your device connected and simply press Ctrl Alt Delete to restart the computer. and load back into windows all right guys we are back on windows and we will be using this vm so i want to show you some settings you will have to keep everything as is you don't have to change anything but in usb just simply click this button and select the apple mobile device that will be in dfu mode and then add it here now simply press OK. Now we will go to the VM. Alright, we are now inside the VM on this Linux OS. You will be needing these files. The blog, the future restores latest binary for Linux and the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to. In my case it is 15.5. Now to download the IPSW, go to IPSW.me, select your device here. So I am on this iPhone 8 Plus Global. Now here scroll down and select the version you want to downgrade to. Open the link and then download the IPSW from here. Next for the future restore you will have to follow this link and download the latest binary for Linux. 
you have to use this binary future restore linux release version all right just download it to your computer and next to get the blob go to tss savers website simply click retrieve now use the ecid that you have copied earlier this will now show all the blobs that you have saved for your device for me it is the 15.51 open it and download one of the blobs now for the future restores binary just simply right click this zip file and extract here you will get another folder just right click and extract here again you will get one more folder and inside you will have the future restore binary just copy it from here and put it where you have the rest of the files later you can delete these folders or these zip files And now you have all these three files. Now simply right click in this folder, open a new terminal here. Now type here sudo dot slash future restore hyphen t. T is the blob. Now hyphen hyphen use pawn dfu hyphen hyphen set nonce hyphen hyphen latest sep space hyphen hyphen latest baseband and now simply drag the IPSW onto the terminal and press enter now enter the password for your login and press enter now it will start the future restore process guys make sure that in devices usb your apple mobile device tfu is selected now guys do not worry if you get this error you will have to simply go to devices usb disconnect the iphone go to devices again usb and connect it again and now simply press the up arrow and rerun the whole command now guys at this point be quick your device will start sending ibss and when it says that the device will now reconnect you will have to be quick and go to devices and then you will have to simply select your device again and it will now do it again and now you will see that the nonce is now set and now your device will get into recovery mode and now finally this step is complete this can be difficult but you have to be quick here you can follow the sounds of your windows machine to see when the device is connecting or disconnecting all right now we will start the restore process now press the up arrow and you will have to simply remove the set nonce and use pawn dfu just remove set nonce and pawn dfu node and leave latest sep latest baseband and the ipsw and press center all right guys if you see this no device found error simply go to devices again usb and now select your apple mobile device in recovery mode now press the up arrow enter and now it will start the restore process we will now start extracting the file system from the ipsw please make sure that you have enough free space now guys you will have to manually connect your device when it starts uh, sending i back 
and now it will start sending the restore RAM disk. If it gets stuck, you will have to enable your device from here. And then you will see that the restore process will start. All right, the process is now in the ending phase. You can check it out that there are no errors. All right, guys, the moment of truth, you can see restore finished restoring succeeded without any error and the process was smooth so i want to give you some tips if you see that the process is somewhere stuck between you setting the nonce or the process of restoring is stuck make sure that you listen to the windows sounds of connecting and disconnecting and act accordingly by going to devices usb and make sure that the iPhone is checked here all right and the process will again run so please be quick like I did and you will restore your device on your Windows computer without requiring to install Linux or Mac OS etc so I will minimize it and open iTunes and see if our iPhone is restored yes guys you can see my iPhone 8 Plus is now on iOS 15.5 and the latest version currently is 15.6. Guys, if you want to make sure you can compare the serial number from the start of the video and to the end of this video. All right, guys, as you can see, I have shown the VM and iTunes side by side. So guys, that's all for this video. If you still have questions, you can always ask me in the comment section and I will always help you. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.